Welcome back, internet friends. Today, I wanna to give you a couple hand stretches to help relieve some tendonitis or arthritis pain that a lot of people get just from everyday activities like using your cell phone or using a mouse and keyboard at work. Perhaps you're a juggler or flow artist like me and you do intense hand exercises. I even recall as a waiter carrying really heavy plates and using my hands for glasses. I needed to find some stretches that would be able to help me relieve pain and tightness in my tendons. So I hope these simple stretches are as helpful to you as they've been to me. I learned some of these stretches from my eight years spent as a gymnast. I also did seven years of Aiki Jiu Jitsu. So some of these come from Jiu Jitsu stretches and preparation that we did to train for joint locks. I widened the angle so you guys can see me a little better. I also flipped the screen so you can just mirror my hands to make it easier to get into these stretches. The first hand stretch is very basic and simple. I like to call it prayer because it looks like we're praying. So you put your hands just above your head, hands together and slowly drop them down. You may have seen this before, very simple, right? We do prayer and this helps to stretch the tendons inside here. And just be real gentle and slow with this. Ease it down, then bring your fingertips towards the ground, like an upside down prayer and widen your fingers and go side to side like this, but down. And that's prayer. Simply put hands together, put them down, widen the fingers and move them. Since we just stretched the inside tendons, now let's stretch the outside ones, doing what I call chicken wings. So you're gonna fold your hands in, kind of put them right up in your armpits, oh, and just drop the weight of your elbows down. And this stretch like does it by itself. All you have to really do is put your hands in the right place, right under your armpit at your rib cage. Your knuckles here should touch right. You just drop your elbows and relax. Do these for about 10 seconds at least, a slow 10 count. And remember to take a few deep breaths while you do them. So that's chicken wings. The next one you may not have seen before, I like to call this walk like an Egyptian. It's very simple. We're going to put our hands together in front of us. Then put one hand up, one hand down, and you're gonna swoop them around like a figure eight. One goes under and then they meet, right? So they meet and the fingertips meet again. Then you wanna lock your fingers gently and slowly pull your wrists back to your face, towards your chin. And you can lift up a little bit oh, to help open up the tendons inside here and along your hands. Now, you do this a couple ways. You drop your wrists back and lock your fingertips and let it just hang there. This is such a good exercise for servers and waiters that have to carry stuff like this, like this. It just really helps with this forearm that we use a lot. Now the second way to do it is you put your hands together, do the same thing. You're gonna put one hand goes up, one goes down. They come around and meet and then gently raise your hands. Take a deep breath and raise your hands until your elbows or your arms are about at ear level. Don't go behind your head too much unless you're crazy flexible or double jointed. This is about where you want to be. And you'll feel your rib cage just opening up, your shoulders opening up. If you take a few deep breaths with it, you can get a few pops in the shoulder blades perhaps. Feel free to lock your fingers and just gently drop down with it if you want. This is walk like an Egyptian just because of the way it looks when you go up high. Whew. Gently bring your hands down and unwrap them. That one feels so good. It really does. When you corkscrew your hands like that and raise them up, something about just completely twisting up your hands and lifting the, the twisted joints up just opens and stretches everything wonderfully. Do it slow, do it careful. The next one I like to call juggler's thumb. It helps me remember how to get into it. You're simply going to 
put one hand open, thumb down, one hand up, thumb up, right? And now we're going to grab our thumbs. You basically are gonna grab like this on each side, like use the three fingers. You can even use the fourth if you want to grab your own hand. And similar to the last stretch, we're going to just bring it back towards us and slowly, you're gonna to wanna to use this grip hand to lift like you're riding a motorcycle. Vroom! But very gently, grip your own thumbs, bring it back and gently rev the motorcycle. Make sure to do both sides, both hands. So one thumb is down, one thumb is up, palms meet, grab your own thumbs and gently rev like a motorcycle. This is great at stretching your wrists and your thumb. And again, we're working the inside here as well as some of these external tendons. That's the juggler's thumb. A cool tip for those of you who twirl batons and juggle and have juggling clubs, prop spinners and fire dancers like myself, this stretch, the juggler's thumb, can be done with a staff or with a juggling club. Same thing, we put our thumb down, but instead of gripping our own thumbs, you grip the staff, just simply thumb down and grab it. And now, instead of revving the motorcycle upward, gently lift the staff, yes, upward. And it does a very similar contortion stretch to the arm. Make sure you always stretch both sides and be super gentle when you use a staff or a club, any kind of tool to help with this kind of stretching because you are going to be adding leverage because now we're applying pressure from the outside rather than so close. So be real careful because you can apply too much pressure very easily with this hand here. So that is juggler's thumb. These next three stretches are from my jujitsu training. They have Japanese names, but I'm gonna give you easier names to remember them by. The first one is in Japanese called Nikkyo, and it's a joint wrist lock, but we do it as a stretch to warm up. To get into it, you simply put one hand forward with the thumb down, like a sword hand, but with the thumb upside down, and then you're going to bring your wrist back towards your chin. Bring your wrist back towards your chin. And then it kind of looks like a swan. So I like to call this swan hand. You're gonna take the other hand and grab the swan's nose and slowly tilt it to the sky while you gently bring the wrist back towards your chin. And it's similar to what we just did, stretches all those tendons. So same with the other side, thumb down, and then grab the swan's head and just bring it towards your chin and tilt its nose up, right? Point your fingers gently up. And this is an actual joint lock that we use to bring submission into people during Aiki Jiu Jitsu training and in combat, but we warm up with it gently to stretch the tendons. So swan hand or Nikkyo, very simple. Thumb down, bring the wrist back to your chin, grab and point up. You can drop your elbows a little bit too. <sighs> drop your elbows and your shoulders. You'll feel these kind of locking positions if you do this right. All these stretches, they get to a point where the joint and the wrist won't turn anymore and you gently leave it there. You just like gently put it there. Next is kotegaish, or in English, hand mirror. Very easy to do this one. Bring our hand to our face like it's a hand mirror. Then you're gonna take your another hand, put your thumb on this pinky's knuckle, and grab the meat of your other thumb with three fingers. So thumb on the knuckle, grab the meat like this. Once you thumb on the knuckle, grab the meat, you're gonna to wanna to apply pressure on the thumb here to the pinky knuckle 
and turn the whole thing while you gently drop it down towards your belly button. And you're gonna curl your fingers in a little bit. This is a very relaxing stretch, but you wanna do it very gentle. This is, a, again, another technique that we use to throw somebody, but we stretch it to prepare and it helps ease tension in the hands and arms. So other side, we're gonna rotate the hand, pinky on the back knuckle, grab the thumb meat and drop it down. Yeah, curling the wrist in. To apply more pressure, if you don't feel enough of a stretch, you can take your finger that's not grabbing the meat of the thumb and point it down a little bit. Just start to point it down. You'll notice your shoulder locks and your whole body is sort of forced to tilt forward. Be very careful. Like I said, this is a joint lock and a wrist throw practiced for a thousand years by Japanese martial arts. Do it gentle. <sighs> Ooh, all these beautiful cracks going off. The last one, thank you so much for staying with me. I like to call this one police hand. So we have swan hand, whoop. We have hand mirror, whoosh. and now we have police hand. Don't take me away. This one in Japanese jujitsu is called sankyo. But police hand. First thing to do, hands up, don't shoot. Bring them down like C-3PO or a robot. Your right hand or whichever hand you want to stretch, you're going to bring your fingertips up and point them in towards like your belly button. Now you want to take your other hand that isn't being stretched, reach it around your back and you're basically going to arrest yourself. You're going to grab your own hand and very gently, very gently. Okay. Place your hand somewhat behind your back and give a small rev, like super gentle uber gentle with this. This is how the police bring you in. And if you resist, it'll dislocate your shoulder. That's how gentle you need to be behind the back. Grab your own hand. I'm leaning a lot just to show you. Make sure the wrist is fingertips towards your belly button and put it back behind your back. Just really gentle. Hold this. Don't even don't even really rev the wrist and crank it. You want to just really just holding this is enough. Breathe and relax and unwind. I got to do the other shoulder. Same thing. Hands up. Don't shoot policeman. Bring your arms down like C3PO. Fingertip toward the belly button. Reach behind and arrest yourself. Now bring your, you can do this actually with the hand not behind your back, but be very gentle. Uh, I like to bring it behind the back and just super gentle. You'll notice the arm feeling like it can't go back any more than it is. Hold this one for about five to 10 seconds. Okay, and open back, untwisting your arms. And we're all stretched out. Tendons on the arms, tendons inside the wrist, the hands, and all the way to our shoulders and even our rib cage has opened up a little bit. I hope you found those relieving and helpful. If they were, go ahead, smash the like button. Please go ahead and leave a comment. Tell me if you enjoyed the stretches or if you have any pointers for me. Go ahead and subscribe. I do make videos all the time. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck to you out there and just have a great day.